Well, I was uh, lucky because, as you say, it was kind of a golden age of TV. And just on the edge or the end of the golden age of movies. And so there was, there was a lot of product, you know, great opportunities. Nowadays, it's probably really tough. But when you have a contract uh, long term at a studio, you know, they want to use you, get their money's worth, which I certainly didn't object to. It was a seven year uh, long term contract. And uh, after a year or so, I got out of the contract. Uh, it was by mutual agreement because they lost their relationship with, uh, I believe it was ABC, and they didn't have the number of shows that they had before. And I wanted to freelance. I wanted to do other things. And so I um, got out, and I did um, pilots, and one thing led to another. I did. Uh, uh, Robert Taylor's Detectives with the late Robert Taylor co-starring as a kid cop. I think um, in the beginning the process for getting a cast or selected to do a role in any one of their series, whether it was Maverick or Hawaiian Eye or whatever, uh, in the beginning I, I read scenes. I auditioned for the producers. and. Uh, that was kind of curious because you do a scene for a producer on the first floor. Then if you're okay, you go up to the next floor and do a scene again. And if they loved it, you'd go to the top floors and do it for the head guys. <laughs> and if they loved it, uh, you, you got the, the role. But after one or two shows, I didn't do that anymore. I didn't have to. They just put me in stuff. Uh, yes, I had, I had seen him in his office, uh, been called in. And, uh, you know, at that time also, you were selected. Uh, there was kind of an old Hollywood um, game in which people sometimes were brought in to challenge or make it a little uncomfortable for a leading man so that if they, were, you know, that they would think that, uh, hey, I better settle down a little here because, you know, this guy's coming up. And, and that happened, I think, with Roger Moore and with me. And, like, we were signed about the same day. Yeah, William T. Orr, Bill Orr, was a good guy. And as a matter of fact, uh, the day I went to Warner's uh, and was put under contract, I had to read a scene for a show called Colt 45. And the part was a sniveling cavalry deserter coward. <laughs> and I read it and moved from one office up to another and another and finally up to Bill Orr and Hugh Benson's office. And it was very colorful because I read the scene. My agent was there. And the moment I was through, um, uh, Bill Orr got on the phone. Or phones, plural. He had phones all over his desk. And I thought it was uh, 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 unusual in that it seemed like it was just such old Hollywood stuff. He'd pick up a phone and say, give me the front gate. This kid is not leaving the lot. What's his name? His name is, uh, what's his name? Billy, Billy, Billy West Anderson. And they'd pick up another phone and say, close the back gate. This kid is not leaving the lot. We're signing him. Don't let him off the lot. And I, I mean, I couldn't believe what was happening. And I had a screen test that I was supposed to attend that afternoon at uh, MGM. And um, I didn't want to miss that. I thought they were being very nice to test me. And I'd worked on the scene with, a, with an actress uh, model. And I didn't know it at that point, but she didn't show up that day. And my agent said, kid, a bird in hand, you know, you better take this. But Lou, I can't do that because I, they're giving me the opportunity at, at Metro. And uh, that's, that's a big deal for me. And he said, no, a bird in hand, come on. And I said, well, Lou, if you can get the money that the others are getting or more than anyone is signed for, okay, okay, bird in hand, whatever. And he went to a side room and started to negotiate. He was good. And I started at an enormous salary relative to others, $150 a week. 
Yes. Does that blow your mind? It, uh, you know, it was a pretty good amount uh, then, and then it went up uh, quickly. That was part of the deal. Uh, but, it, but it was fun and colorful and interesting the way uh, it happened. When I was offered a contract, uh, you know, I don't mean to say that they just took a look at me and said, this kid's, you know, we can use him. Uh, I had to uh, audition, that is, I had to read scenes. Uh, and then uh, keep doing the scene several times for others at the studio who were in charge. And then it was simple. They said they wanted me and, and the agent made the deal. At that time at Warner's, uh, we had um, almost a stock company of people that they were grooming and uh, also directors and writers. And those people on the lot who had access to or saw you every day or week um, could evaluate your performance and, and determine whether you might be right for one of their projects. And that's kind of the way it happened, word of mouth.